KSA Radio News with Robert Walensky. But do you think the tweets were racist? President Trump at an event at the White House celebrating products made here in America, reiterating to reporters what he says on Twitter about the four progressive congresswomen, AOC, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, and Ayanna Presley. They can go back to the countries they came from if they don't like it here. How are they not not right congresswomen are not American? Somebody has a problem. With our country, if somebody doesn't want to be in our country, they should leave. That's all. Then the four holding a news conference on Capitol Hill, calling on President Trump to be impeached. Here's AOC. We'll stay focused on our agenda, and we won't get caught slipping, because all of this is a distraction. It's a distraction from what's most important and from our core values as American citizens. You're listening to USA Radio News. And all I'm saying that if they're not happy here, they can leave. They can leave. And you know what? I'm, I'm sure that there'll be many people that won't miss them. More now on our top story. President Trump not backing off his tweets, telling the four female progressive freshman lawmakers, if they don't like it here, they can go back and help fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came. Very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Reaction now from former vice president and 2020 Democratic hopeful Joe Biden, who's campaigning in Iowa. No matter what you think of their politics, you talked about going back to the awful countries they were from, Brooklyn, Michigan, you know. (laughs) But I mean, I mean, it's a flat racist attack. He said they should go home. He should go home. This is USA Radio News. The Air Force out with a warning about Area 51 in Nevada. USA Radio's Chris Barnes with details now from Washington, D.C. The warning is pretty simple. Do not try to storm Area 51 in Nevada. The warning's been issued because hundreds of thousands of people have signed up for a Facebook group that's proposed everyone rush that top-secret military base in the desert this September to try to unlock its alien secrets. Joke or not, the Air Force says it's serious when it says don't try it. A spokesman saying the base is an active training range for the Air Force and it will protect America and its assets if it's threatened. The pressure is on for a dead. Debt limit deal to be reached, USA Radio's Tim Berg with details. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is urging Congress to raise the debt ceiling before the government runs out of money. I can't raise the debt ceiling. That's It's Congress's job to raise the debt ceiling. What I, I have said, and you know, given the importance of this, we run multiple scenarios of how we predict the government's cash flow. Mnuchin on why raising the debt ceiling is such a big deal. The debt ceiling has to be raised. One of our scenarios triggers a problem the first week of September before they get back. So I have urged Congress to raise it before they leave. If the debt ceiling is not raised, the government will likely run out of money in September. For USA Radio News, I'm Tim Berg. For USA Radio News, I'm Robin Walensky.